Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Marvel's Avengers. And today, I'm turning my attention to another one of the playable heroes, Captain America. To put together a quick guide to the character, going over suggestions for his best moves, picks for his specialty and mastery trees, some general tips for combat and stats, and basically give you everything you need to know to make the most out of this hero. Just before that though, I do want to take a moment to very kindly thank Virgin Media for very kindly sponsoring this video. We've teamed up once again to bring you a deeper look at the game, so if you've been enjoying Avengers or you just want to know more, then be sure to keep it locked. Also, for any of you that happen to be Virgin Media customers, don't forget for a limited time you can grab yourself some in-game outfits, the ones you see in this video in this cool red and white. For more details on that, click the link in the description box down below. But anyway, that's enough of the introduction, let's talk about Captain America. Enemy Captain America is designed to be one of your frontline warriors. In theory, he's built to be a tank and a parry god, but in practice, given that a lot of high level enemies spam unblockable moves, this doesn't always work out as planned, so some adjustments need to be made to truly take advantage of this hero, and this is where him being a Brooklyn Brawler comes into play. He has incredibly strong melee damage potential, whilst also being able to pick off things from afar thanks to his ability to throw his shield. He has great stun potential, and when you line everything up correctly, his takedowns can deal some insane damage numbers. So if you want to be up in the enemy's face, then Cap is the hero for you. Now, starting off with your moves, I'm not going to go through every ability here, but instead I'm just going to call out the most noteworthy moves that you'll want to be using with this build. Again, keep in mind, once you get to level 50, you'll have everything unlocked anyway. The focus for this build is all around keeping 100% uptime on your Brooklyn Brawler, your ultimate ability. Since doing this not only adds additional combo options, but it also allows you to do more damage and take less damage. So if we dive into the skill tree, down the light attack column, you want to grab the first three skills as this is your bread and butter combo. New York Knuckles, Cartwheel Kick and Shield Sweep. Cartwheel Kick is a good way to deal with shields, exposing them for more damage, and Shield Sweep can knock enemies up into the air if you want to begin juggling. In the Heavy Tree, it's worth grabbing Shield Smash, Shield Bash and Rising Hope. This gives you a strong heavy attack chain that you can work into your combos, and again, has another good launcher for those juggle air combos. Plus, you have an inherent crit bonus if you knock enemies into the air, so it all works nicely together, especially when paired with Brooklyn Brawler, as you'll see shortly. As for your ranged offerings, in truth, this build is much more focused on up-close melee combat. However, it is useful to have the shield throw for picking off flying enemies, turrets, drones, etc. The various nodes in this tree allow you to get more ricochets in your throws, thus allowing you to bounce between multiple enemies, so it's all worth grabbing in time. You also have the fancy shield kick if you want some style points, but again, for the purposes of this build, it really all revolves around your up-close melee combat. So grab those light and heavy combos and you're good to go. Now onto your specialty and mastery trees. Here you have to pick one from each column. So here's the most important bits you want to grab. The first and most important thing here is to go all the way down to grab Fighting Spirit, as this extends the base duration of Brooklyn Brawler by five seconds. Plus, by having strong will, you also restore 25% of willpower, which adds some nice survivability into the mix. Additionally, dealing damage whilst the ability is active restores an additional small amount of willpower too. Brooklyn Brawler itself is the core pillar of this build. It gives you a new light attack combo that basically sees you throwing your shield around whilst meleeing enemies. It looks awesome, does great damage thanks to the damage boost, but on top of that, it also builds stun really quickly, which is also incredibly important. If you then grab CQC Specialist, it'll allow you to perform takedowns on critically wounded enemies, so they don't even need to have max stun meter. Instead, if they're low on health, you can still perform takedowns on them. And this goes hand in hand with Adrenaline Rush, which extends Brooklyn Brawler by 3 seconds for every takedown. So theoretically speaking, if you have enough enemies to take down, you could keep Brooklyn Brawler active the whole time. Additionally, the takedowns themselves do insane damage, so not only is this a way to keep the heroic ability active, it's also a great avenue to damage. Outside of this tree, it's worth specking into Steamroller to get an extra shield throw charge, and pair that with Vanguard Charge, where every two enemies defeated with Steamroller generates heroic orbs. So if you use this to pick off weaker or flying enemies, then it's a good means to grab further orbs, which can replenish your skills. It's also worth specking into Threat Control, since this adds 15% additional stun damage to your Rally Cry, which is yet another avenue to takedowns. Then if we hop over to the mastery tree, you're kind of free to pick pretty much whatever you want here, but for this specific build, the only one thing you need to grab is heroic takedown mastery, since doing so will see heroic orb spawn whenever you do takedowns, which is huge for again keeping your abilities topped up and ready to use. As for your stats, 
There's a couple of ways you can look at this, but from our testing we found that we get the best results when we spec heavily into Might as our primary stats. You can dip into Valor to boost your heroic effectiveness, and we did play around with this for a while, but honestly, from the way we use Cap, Might just results in the best, most impactful outcome. So pick that as your main stat, and if you want to dip into something else, then pick up Valor as your secondary. Range damage doesn't scale too well for Cap, and honestly, while it's nice to throw your shield, it's not the main way to play this build, so Might and Valor are your friends. But all up, that's a quick snapshot of how you might want to consider building your Captain America. In gameplay, you can open up with a shield throw heroic ability as a means to pick off some weaker enemies and put others into a critical takedown state, just as a means to grab some orbs. But then when you dive into the meat of combat, you want to activate Brooklyn Brawler and go to town on everything using that nice new combo. Anytime you get a chance, perform takedowns on your enemies since this will extend Brooklyn Brawler, but it also does incredible damage on the takedowns themselves. And again, anytime there are ranged enemies, you can throw your shield. That too creates heroic orbs. So on the off chance that you do let Brooklyn Brawler drop, between your takedowns and your shield throw, you have a good way to spawn heroic orbs to get Brawler back up pretty quickly. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. That's a quick look at how we've been playing Captain America. Hopefully you found this helpful. I also want to round out this video by once again thanking Virgin Media for kindly sponsoring this series. Their M500 Fiber Broadband offers hero-worthy speeds and is the connection design with gamers in mind. So if you're diving into some co-op action, then they've got you covered. Of course, if you're enjoying Avengers, then be sure to keep it locked as we've got more stuff coming your way soon. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.